All right, so I am back. Here's my next video. This is going to be Sniff My Tarts, um, a mystery box, which is three pounds for roughly $57 shipped. Um, you typically sign up for them on the Sniff My Tarts Facebook group page. However, right now the list is closed and they're not taking any more names. Um, I think it's the same thing for the mystery bag, which is about half the size and roughly half the price. But um, I don't know what they're, what, it's Donna and Amy, a mother daughter that um, runs this company. And I don't know what their plan is for once they get through the current list. They just said that they will make announcements and keep people posted. But um, so I was lucky enough to get on one more time for their mystery box. And I'll go ahead and jump right in. So, um, and these are all over pours from the orders that they're working on. And I still have one more custom order outstanding from, the, outstanding from them from their last opening, which is not huge, but I love all of their product. I mean, their wax has amazing throw. I think it's reasonably priced. Um, so I will order every opening from them if I'm able to get in. But so this mystery box, this first one is vanilla cake pops, fudge brownie and graham cracker. So there are actually quite a few fall scents in this one, which I was surprised about considering this opening was at the end of March. But this smells really good. It does, um, it's definitely heavy on the, um, the, the chocolate from the fudge brownie. So I don't know, I may try this one, but you can get kind of like a cake note. There's like some sweetness to it. The graham cracker, I can't really tell too much. Um, I'll probably try it. Um, I don't know if I never, if it ends up sitting around for a while and I'm not using it, I may pass it on to like my mom or my sister or my dad or my niece. I've gotten like my whole family into melting wax and I'm their supplier right now. So every time they come over, I usually have a box to give them to take home. And then like with my niece who's in Arkansas, I just shipped her a box of wax um, yesterday. So all these orders, if there's stuff I'm not using or not that fond of, I just, I give it to one of them, which I prefer doing that than de-stashing. This next one is cinnamon glazed donuts, orange fawn cake. That sounds awesome. And it smells phenomenal. It basically smells like orange cinnamon bakery. That's mostly what I'm getting. The cinnamon is not super strong in this, so that's good. Because I like cinnamon, I just don't like it to overpower everything else. So I'm excited to try that one. This next one I was super excited to get. Um, caramel apple bake. I don't know what the bake part is. I don't know if this is just like a pie or what. Um, but there's two chunks in here, which with their stuff, it's so strong. Um, I can definitely get two melts out of this, but I am just loving caramel apple bakery scents right now. Oh, and this smells fantastic. This is definitely like a nice, strong caramel apple. There's a little, like a little hint of kind of a cinnamon in there. Um, that's probably coming from that bake. And then there's like a nice, strong bakery scent. So really it smells like caramel apple with a strong bakery and a hint of a cinnamon. So excited for that one. And this next one, I think I have two chunks. Let's see if I can find them both. I did get a couple chunks of a couple different ones, but I don't, I can't find it right now. But this one I was excited to see also. It's Spearmint Frostbite Vanilla Bee Noel. It's not a huge chunk, but this is definitely something I'll melt in my bedroom, so it's the perfect size for that. And this, I believe, Elaine, Addicted to Nail Polish. I'm wondering, I think she ordered a chunk in this, and I'm wondering if this is from her order. If it, it's phenomenal. This is going for sure on my list um, for their next opening. It's just absolutely amazing. It's like a, just a nice, strong, it's spearmint, but their spearmint's strong. It's got a nice, good kick to it. Actually, probably what it is is the frostbite. I don't know what the frostbite is made out of, but what this smells like to me is like a peppermint, spearmint, vanilla bean Noel. That's what it smells like. Oh, it's amazing, amazing, amazing. And I know there's a second chunk, I think, of that in here somewhere. I just don't know where it's at right now. Oh, here it is. Here's the second chunk, yay! So I have two of those, um, and those will definitely be going on my list to buy from them um, at their next opening. This next one is Cotton Candy Sticky Marshmallow Twinkies. This is like basically just sticky sweetness. That's exactly what it smells like. It's just creamy, sweet, sticky sweetness. 
with like a bakery note in there. So I don't know how strong that one might be when you melt it because I'm cold. It's not real strong, so I will have to see how that performs. This next one is peppermint stink, pe stink, <laughs> sorry, peppermint sticky pink serendipity. Not stink, it doesn't stink. Um, I love peppermint scents. I love pink sugar. I do like serendipity too, but I think I have a lot of it, so I tend to get out of the mood for it. But this is good. This mostly, um, it is like 80% pink peppermint on cold and then just a hint of the serendipity oh beautiful beautiful nice strong peppermint note in there you definitely get the pink sugar it's gorgeous okay there's a little one little grubby tart in pumpkin pecan waffle which is a new favorite scent of mine as well and I need to start ordering it from vendors oh it's fabulous it's creamy it's sweet it's kind of like even though it doesn't say caramel it kind of has like a caramely type note and maybe that's just like the pecan I don't know or the waffle oh it's heaven so I have I have a couple orders coming in um well or in the process that I have some pumpkin pecan blends in there um so I'm excited for those this next one is pink butter cookie so pink sugar and butter cookie yep that's exactly what it is I'm mostly getting the pink sugar and just a hint of the butter cookie, but I imagine that'll probably come out a little bit more when it's melted. Oops, man down. Um, I will get that later. And this one, it looks like it's just kind of like an overpour. It's a grubby and it's like three, let me take this out. It's like three layers and it's grapefruit, strawberry, and orange. Can you see that? And it smells phenomenal, phenomenal. That's my new word, phenomenal. It's nice, like tart grapefruit, with that sweet strawberry and juicy orange. That's exactly, it's tart and sweet and juicy. That is actually like an awesome blend and probably would get that in their next opening too. I'm somewhat of a seasonal melter, but not all the time because I kind of melt this whatever I'm in the mood for. This next one is pink sugar peppermint, a good sized chunk in that. And I love pink sugar, love peppermint. Oh. So good. Nice strong peppermint and you definitely get the pink sugar. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to maybe have to melt one of those, that one tonight. Okay. This next one is zucchini bread, vanilla bean Noel type. And I know that's like a scent blend that's really popular. A lot of people love just like creamy sweet zucchini breads. Yum. This is good. It's, this zucchini bread's good. It's not super spicy, but not super creamy. It's like, I think a good in-between zucchini bread, at least on cold. And I have not ordered anything from them with zucchini bread in it, so I'm super excited to get this one. And then that vanilla bean Noel's probably helping to like sweeten up that zucchini bread, so excited to melt that one. Let's see. I have a nice big chunk in strawberry jam sticky marshmallow. And I love strawberry scents. It's like this box was like made for me because there's all my favorite scents are in here. Oh, and this is fantastic. It's kind of light right now. Um, it's a beautiful chunk though with the red and white. It looks so Christmassy. It's a little light on cold because I'm mostly getting the marshmallow, um, not a lot of the strawberries. So I'm hoping that the strawberry will come out when that gets melted. This next one is cinnamon glazed donuts. Um, like I said, not a huge fan of really strong cinnamon. Let me smell this one. And this is pretty strong on cold with the cinnamon. But I do get the donut scent as well. So I don't know, I hope that when I melt this one, the um, donut will really come through a little bit more than it is right now on cold. I'm just gonna put the rest of these down below because. I'm running around, running out of room on my little box shelf. So this next one is Sweet 16 Watermelon Cake. I don't know what Sweet 16 is. Um, let's see if I can tell when I smell. Okay, Sweet 16 um, must be some kind of like a perfumey, little bit floral note. It's not overly perfumey or overly floral, but it is a little bit of that. It's not just like fruit or something. 
because I get kind of a hint of a perfumey note with that watermelon cake. So it's pretty, it's like a pretty scent. Um, so interested to try that one. Here is another bag of strawberry jam and sticky marshmallow with two more chunks in it. Here is a bag of just plain vanilla bean Noel, which is great for blending. And maybe I could use this with some of the like the cinnamon glazed donuts that I'm worried about being too cinnamony. And it smells like vanilla bean Noel. Um, this one is lemon sugar and sticky marshmallow. Yum. This smells just like fresh lemon that's been super sweetened up. Oh, it's fantastic. Yum. This is good. Just a nice, super sweet, fresh lemon scent. Not cleaner lemon at all. This one is strawberry white cake almond biscotti. Okay. And this is, um, it's funny when I first got this and I smelled it, I mostly got the strawberry white cake. But, and I definitely still get that, but I also am picking up on the almond biscotti, whereas the first time I smelled it, I wasn't, but now I'm definitely getting the almond biscotti, but it's like, I want to say it's like maybe 60% strawberry white cake and 40% almond biscotti, which is not too bad. I'm not a huge fan of almond scents, um, but that one smells good enough for me to mount, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, this one, I talked about this one already. It's a little tiny piece in that same one cotton candy sticky marshmallow twinkies so that's funny that's like super super tiny <laughs> and then there's pink chiffon vanilla be noel and pink chiffon is a bath and body works dupe and it's a beautiful scent this is beautiful beautiful and then it's just that vanilla be noel blends so well with it yeah this is a great scent i will probably um, want to get some more of that in their next opening as well. And then I got two chunks. You can see those there. Two chunks in frosted zucchini bread. And I don't know what their frosted is, if it's just supposed to be like a frosting. That's kind of basically what it smells like. It smells like their zucchini bread with a little bit of like a sugary icing or sugary frosting but it's not super sweet. It is a little bit of that extra sweetness in there, but not overly sweet. And I think this is the last one. I have like all my orders kind of just sitting here all together and they're kind of getting mixed up a little bit, but okay. So I think this is the last piece from this um, mystery box, but this is like a huge chunk in bear claws and it's super cute. It has the little bear claw chunk right there. Um, I don't think I've ever tried bear claws just on its own, but it reminds me a lot of just the cinnamon glazed donuts. It's like a nice sweet creamy bakery, but this one does have a lot of cinnamon on cold, but they, it looks like they've actually dumped, I don't know if you can see that, sprinkled a bunch of cinnamon on it. So I don't know how much of that cinnamon scent is coming from the cinnamon itself or from the fragrance. But this one will probably be good for blending too if I want to add some bakery to some scents. And then the last thing I have here, this is not part of my mystery box, but it was, if you watched my last haul video from my first order from Sniff My Tarts from this last opening, one of the items that they sent me was not the right scent. Um, so this is the replacement. Instead of sending the chunks, they asked if it was okay if they sent a pie. And I said that was fine because this is 10 and a half ounces. Um, and the chunks usually range anywhere from 8 to 12 ounces. So this is right smack in the middle. This is marshmallow fluff, strawberry jam, lemon cream puff. And so, and it's pre-sliced, which is nice. Um, you probably can't really tell that. But so this just, I told them to go ahead and send it with my mystery box because my mystery box I had just paid for it so I knew it was going out soon so this smells really good I'm mostly getting the lemon cream puff right now I can pick up a little bit on the strawberry jam and the marshmallow fluff is actually quite quite strong so this smells really good so super excited to get that love 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 sniff my tarts 
Um, you unfortunately, because they don't have the signups open right now for their mystery boxes and bags, um, if you want to try them, you just need to join their Facebook group page to keep track of when their next opening is because there has not been an announcement of when their next opening is. My guess is they probably still have at least another two months to get through orders. Um, just because I know my first order, I think I placed maybe about an hour and a half into their opening. And then the second order I placed two hours later. And then I feel like they were probably open at least for another several hours after that. I don't know exactly how long they were open, but I do think it's probably gonna be a while before they um, open again. But just if you can join their Facebook group page and you can keep up on status and they'll make an announcement of when their next opening will be. But the nice thing about this company they're not open for a long time, but they do stay open for several hours. I think their last opening, they were open for about 10 hours, I wanna say, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit less, but it was several hours, it wasn't just a few minutes. So, um, anyhow, thanks for watching, and I will be back with my next video. Bye.